Hey, Wes Burke, welcome to the Rockstar Report, where we always ask, what if we can? And we're back from vacation. It feels like it's been a really long time since I've done this. Um, it feels like it's been a really long time since we've done anything, but we quickly get back into the groove and it's been a great week. The kids are so happy to be here. I heard so many parents share with me that their kids just could not wait to get back to school. Love that so much. And I have to say my own daughter, she just kept saying, why can't school start tomorrow? Why can't it start tomorrow? They just love being here um, with their friends and all the staff love them. So it's, it's awesome. Love it. Anyway, um, and everyone is adjusting back. If I, I, I was talking to another mom who's like, yeah, Thursday night, we had some tears and some emotions going on at our house. The kids are tired and they've been like trying so hard to hold it together. That things are a little more relaxed at break and here they have to come and they have to follow the routine and all of that. And they, so they're just like really trying to be behaved. And then today they, they couldn't quite contain it anymore um everything was fine but you know this the have some melty moments today but uh good thing it's friday get some rest and we have a well-timed day off on monday let me tell you it helps it helps coming back because we get that extra day off um in general things are pretty low-key right now things were very busy right before break and now we're just going to kind of get into our second half of the year things that are happening and because we're new we get to create what those things are and so um it's and we also like pause on planning when we're trying to get things ready to go so um we'll, we will take some time and get the rest of our year planned out and we'll do some great things. I did mention in the blog that the Jogathon is coming and we're gonna move it to April after spring break. We just wanna have the time to make it as great as possible. And I think we can count on the weather in April more than we can in March. So it'll be great, whatever we do. And it, I'm sorry, it's not the Jogathon, it's the Move-a-thon because we have people moving and grooving in all kinds of ways here, which is the best. Um, the, big, the big thing I have for you is our, um, it's time to order yearbooks and there's information coming about that. Um, we will get it all to you. You you just scan with the QR code and you can order or you go online and you can order and um, it's easy peasy. But first, here's the big deal. We are having a yearbook cover design contest. So the students can design Westbrook's very first yearbook cover. So that's so cool. And um, I remember they did that at Orchard Ranch their first year my my two boys were like so excited to do the cover they worked so hard on it and um it was super fun and i you know we still have that yearbook we love seeing it i can't wait to do ours so i'm going to give you some little th information about it but more information will be coming home for you that um every student is invited to do it and the, they have to follow our theme and our theme this year is our story begins so how fun is that and you're just going to portray that on the cover and they're all due by January 26. So that's all you need to know, but more information will be coming home. And, um, so back to the yearbooks, order them now and print something out and put it somewhere in your house where you, like, I have a bulletin board that I stick mine to because I never remember if I buy one. One time I thought I did. Well, it's Brooks more than one time I thought I did and I didn't buy one. So, I've created a system for myself where I buy the yearbook, I print out the information that I did it, and I put it somewhere so I know that I did it. Um, I, just every year at the end, parents either think their kids don't want one or they just don't do it, and they're scrambling to get them. So it's my urge to you to do that, and I will give you that information you need. Um, oh, and dedications are available for fifth grade parents. So the dedications are just a little note to your child telling them how proud you are. Um, and it's one eighth of a page. There are not different options. And the reason for that is um, we get charged for the yearbook according to how many pages are in it. And we're really trying to keep our costs down for you. So um, we just made that decision that it's gonna be an eighth of a page and um, there it's all the same price. So that's, that's that. Um, there's not much else I have to tell you. Happy Friday and remember, no school Monday. So. Take advantage of that opportunity to sleep in a little bit and have a wonderful day and weekend. Thank you for watching this episode of the Rockstar Report where we always ask, what if we can?